I'm Jamie Harms. I'm a family physician. I work at Maryland Primary Care Physicians. We have an office in Queenstown right now next, next to the uh, freestanding emergency room. Primary care doctors see patients of all ages. I see some of my patients here in the room. Um, um, so on a great day, I see a baby who's three days old and the next patient is 93 years old. We see people with all kinds of different problems and things like that. Just a plug for Maryland Primary Care, we are taking new patients. We have a new doc who's great. Come on over and see us. If you're looking for a new primary care doc um, in the, in the uh, community, that's us. Um, with me today, I have Shannon, and sh you'll see Shannon in the office. Um, she draws blood in the office. Shannon's also a personal trainer, so, um, and she um, likes working with um, uh, seniors and disabled people. She also works with people with other kinds of, of um, specific issues. And she brought her um, first specimen, who's <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Show us your guns, Joe. Yeah, okay, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Just for credibility. <laughs> okay. So today, uh, Shannon and Joe and I are here to give you um, a really good medicine. Um, it is a medicine that can decrease your risk of heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, osteoporosis, obesity, colon cancer, breast cancer, anxiety, depression, and memory loss. Who'd like to reduce your risk of getting one of those things, right? Yeah, right, okay. Best of all, it's free, okay? So put away your, your insurance card. So who's not sitting there thinking, yeah, I want some of that, right? Right, exactly. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about exercise. And Shannon and Joe are gonna show us some simple things that are fun and easy to do um, um, that we can practice here today. How many people here are caregivers of, of somebody else? Okay, so, okay, all right, all right, okay. So why bother exercising? Why bother? I mean, not all of us want to look like Joe or have the time to do all that, so why bother? First reason is, is, um, is the old saying, use it or lose it. We all lose um, certain things as, as we age every year. Every year we use, lose um, a little bit of our uh, heart and lung capacity. We lose muscle mass, we lose strength. And if you take a regular woman without particularly any medical problems and just give her a bunch of birthdays, by the time she's 80 years old, she'll have lost enough muscle mass that it's hard to do things like get off the toilet, stand up or get off the toilet. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, um, are aware, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who's in the, in the Supreme Court, she's about 84, 85 years old. She's about this high and that big, and she's had two different kinds of cancers and things, things like that. She works out every week um, with a trainer. She can do more push-ups than I can. And, um, um, and her trainer tells her all the time, these are the exercises that will keep you able to get up off the toilet. So that's what we want to do there. The second thing that we, we, want, to, we want to do exercise is that, oh, oh thanks, is that it can make you better. You know, you can gain some stuff um, with, with exercise. So if you um, are disabled for some reason, um, exercise can make you able again, okay? Um, um, it's, it gives you a, a higher likelihood of healthy aging, both physically and uh, emotionally and cognitively. And even with a chronic condition, some exercise is better than none. So even if you um, um, sit in a wheelchair all day long, or you have back pain all the time, or your shoulder doesn't work so well uh, all the time, it's good for you. Um, the fourth thing is that it, it is um, a way to help things when other methods aren't, aren't good. So we heard Dr. McCoy and Dr. Jan Casco talk about Advil and Aleve, and um, I'm sure people in the audience have, have had a doctor say to you, mm, you shouldn't be taking that. You're, you know, it's bad for your stomach, you've had an ulcer before, you've had a bleed before, your kidney function's not so good, I don't want you taking that stuff. Um, so exercise is a wonderful way to support the joints. When we strengthen the muscles around the joints, we take pressure off the joints. I had a patient um, not too long ago came in and, and has had back pain for a long time, and she said, if I started working on it, do you think I could kind of build a back brace out of my own muscles for my back? And the answer was, yeah, you bet. You bet you can do that, um, like that. 
So our benefits are improved um, mobility, decreased um, likelihood of moving uh, um, from, from disability uh, into disability. Um, and as I said, um, exercise decreases the risk of falls. Everyone is more afraid of falls as they age. And it improves chronic conditions like mood disorders, chronic pain, congestive heart failure, stroke, constipation, sleep disorders. Um, I've heard the expression, um, the best time to start is 20 years ago. The second best time to start is today. And the same thing is, is true with exercise. It's never too late to start. Today is a wonderful day. So when I talk to people about exercise, I often write what's called an exercise prescription. And that says, well, what are you supposed to do? How often are you supposed to do it? How am I going to do it? When am I going to do it? That kind, of, that kind of thing. And today we're going to talk about four different categories of exercise. The idea is to do some of each category um, during, during the week. We're going to talk about um, flexibility. We're going to talk about aerobic exercise, which is the kind that gets your heart and lungs moving. We're going to talk about muscle strength and talk about balance. Okay. Um, all right. And then we're going to practice some of everything. So everybody's going to get up to up and move a little bit like that. So flexibility is what you get by stretching. So flexibility is the kinds of stuff that helps you do things like tie your shoes, scratch your back, look behind you to see who's coming in the in the car behind you, reach overhead, those kinds of th things like that. We're aiming to do about 10 minutes of stretching at least twice a week, something like that. Okay? okay you want to go ahead and, and start? Okay. okay, so we usually do this seated for when we go into the assisted living facilities and things like that, but I want you to be able to see me. But this is something that you can do sitting in your chair, okay? So for flexibility, there's a, two different types of stretching. There's dynamic stretching and there's static stretching. When you're getting ready to exercise, you want to do something that's going to be a little bit of a shorter amount of time. You're holding it about 15 seconds. And all that's doing is turning on your muscles and letting it know, hey, it's time. We're going to work out a little bit. Get the blood pumping to those muscles. So one of the first things that we always do, we always like to work from the ground up. We're just going to basically point our toe, leg we're pressing on a gas pedal, and then letting up. Pointing your toe and letting up. You can do this, and we call these commercial busters. The average amount of commercials that you get in a one hour show is 15 minutes. You do that twice a day, guess what? There's your 30 minutes of exercise. And these are things that you can incorporate while you're doing your normal activities. So you're gonna alternate between your left and your right foot, and all you're doing is pointing and you're letting it back, and pointing and letting back. This is a thing that can allow you to put on your shoe or your sock a little bit easier. Another thing that you can do is you can rotate your foot in a clockwise and a counterclockwise. Let's see, let's see you do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see these Clockwise and counterclockwise. For those of you who aren't doing it, you don't get to eat lunch today, so make sure you participate, okay? Let's see. Now you know why I brought it. That's the muscle. So, he can come around and show you too. If you have some problems doing it or if you can't see us up here, he will definitely come around and let you see how to do that. So that's going to be just for your, for your lower part of your foot. Another thing that you can do, sitting in your chair, this is something that we do work with people that are disabled, that aren't able to be up and is mobile, is you're just going to do a simple twist, come back to the center, twist, come back to the center. This is really good. And when you think about the movement that you're doing, think about when you're trying to roll over in bed. Doing this simply, two minute commercial. Let's do it back and forth. This helps with flexibility. The next one that we're gonna do is gonna be just a simply opening up our chest. Now I'm not gonna, I have the microphone. Just stretching outward and then coming in and giving yourself a hug. That's gonna help with your back as well as your chest area. You do that a few times. We like to do a count of six to eight. There's some people that are gonna have some contraction issues and maybe some joint issues. Don't do it to a point to where it's uncomfortable. Do it what's comfortable for you because that helps with mobility. And the next thing that we wanna do, and a lot of times people don't think about it, is for your neck. You're just gonna simply look over your shoulder, come back to center, and look on the other shoulder. You never wanna do anything where you're rolling your neck because you don't wanna injure your neck, but just that simple movement can definitely help. You incorporate, they incorporate those each day in just your normal things, just sitting on the TV, you know, watching TV, we all do it. If you can incorporate that, you will see a difference in your flexibility. Great, are we having fun yet? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. You know what kids call exercise is um, play. Play. And that's what this should be. This should be lots, lots of fun. So I don't know about you guys. When I do that with my neck, it makes lots of noise. It makes a lot of noise. But the funny thing is that the more you do it, the more the, no the noise disappears. And that's what Dr. Um, McCoy and Dr. Jan Costco were talking about, about how that fluid around the joints all starts to start moving around and all of a sudden your joints get lubricated uh, um, like that. I love the idea of doing this during a, a, a commercial. I mean, what the heck are you gonna do? Okay, so that's your flexibility. Uh, like that. The next part of exercise is the aerobic exercise. And this is the part that gets your heart and lungs, uh, lungs moving. This uses your large muscles. What are your large muscles? Where are your large muscles? Core. Legs and legs, like arms, uh, um, like that. You want to sustain movement for about 10 minutes, but you can do it in little bursts. That's okay. Um, you want to be exercising not so hard that you can't talk. You want to be able to talk while you're, while you're exercising. Some examples are walking or swimming or dancing. I know there's lots of dancing that goes on uh, around here. Um, using cardio equipment. Let me put in a big plug for the senior centers right now. Every senior center in Queen Anne's County has amazing cardio exercise equipment and it's free. So that's the second free thing I'm giving you today. Uh, I'm like that. It's absolutely free. It's the best kept secret in Queen Anne's County. You can go in any time, use the machines, use the weight machines and thing, things like that. So let's um, turn it over to Shannon. Let, let's do some um, cardio. Okay, so for this one, um, something that we do when we go into the assisted living facilities, most of the people are sitting in recliners, sitting in the common area. And they're like, oh, well, you know, it's tough for me to get out of the chair. I can't, you know, some of these people are having strokes and they're unable to do that. You can do cardio in a seated chair. You can do it to your best ability. I'm going to try and turn on this music. I'm really not that great with this kind of stuff, but we're going to try it. This is something, march. Just raise your knees just to the about the, you know, it's comfortable for you. You want to move in your arms. You can do this seated in a chair. Two minute commercial. If you do that over five commercials, there's a 10 minute burst. Exactly. You can add arms, which is going to give you a little bit more. Anything that you do with the upper body is going to make your heart rate go up. Exactly. And you can do this, like I said, just do it doing a commercial. You can get this on, this is from YouTube. You can do it just remembering it in your head, but it's a good cadence to keep to. Good job, guys. <laughs> Okay, so we're limber, we're stretched up, hearts are moving, things like that. The next thing is muscle strength training. So um, we can do this with resistance bands, we can do this with weights. We're looking to do this about twice a week, um, not two days in a row, but two times during the, um, during the week. We start with something that you can lift um, about eight times, okay? So um, we want to move slowly. Don't put a lot of pressure on the joints. We want to just move slowly. I think there's some water bottles on your table. All of those are about a pound. Um, and we can start, start with that. Remember, muscles support the joints. Um, um, so you can build your own braces for your own body. You got a bad knee, you can build a brace of it for it out of your muscles. Got a bad shoulder, you can build a brace for it out of your, sh your muscles. Got a bad back, same thing. Okay, so the water bottle, for those of you that didn't take a swig of it, you're going to be cheating a little bit because it's not going to be quite a pound. But a water bottle is something that we almost all have at our home. Can of soup, same thing, it's about a pound or a little bit more. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of fancy equipment for you to do, just do some simple exercises at home. So the one thing that we're going to do, I saw some of you doing it, is just going to do a simple bicep curl, okay? Down and then up. Now, you can go, Walmart has them, Target has them, they have the little small weights. One, two, five pound weights, then you want to alternate to the other arm. Another good, uh, good exercise is just going to be a simple press up and press down. Press up and press down. And this is a really, really good exercise. And if you think about the motion that you're doing, this is going to help when you're putting on your shirt. This is one of the things that can help you from having to get additional aid down the line. Um, another one, we can do just a simple push-pull. We're going to push out and push back. Now you can hold the bottle with both hands, 
go out and come back in. You can do it up high, you can come down low, and you can alternate it. Those are things that are good. Something for your legs, and I'm, I'm standing, so I'm just gonna stay here. Just simply do a knee lift back up and down. You have angle weights that you can get. Um, sometimes you can uh, you know, buy those at like Walmart if you wanna do that to have a little bit more resistance. Same exact thing. You can also do extensions. All of these things are gonna help support your joints and help you be more mobile. Lots of people come into my office with um, a purse that weighs plenty. <laughs> um, and that's a great thing to do too. It's got, you know, you put your purse right on the end of your foot um, um, like that as you get stronger. Okay? The last part is balance. Balance is the fourth part. And we all know why balance is, is important, right? So you trip and you, you're, uh, you slip and things like that. And we want to be able to recover and not fall, right? Right, so, um, so um, if you do the muscle strengthening and the flexibility and the aerobic, if you fall, hopefully you'll be able to get up, but we want to not fall to begin with. So balance is the next thing. And surprisingly, you can improve your balance with practice. So there's lots of good studies that have gone on in, um, in nursing homes and other skilled nursing facilities where they actually work with people on balance and the, and the number of falls reduces. Okay, so for the balance, um, like I said, I'm going to be standing. You can do this at home standing. The first one I'm going to show you, they're, they're funny names, but if you think about what you're doing, um, it's called the flamingo. You can hold on to the side of the chair if you want some stability. We want to make sure that you're safe whenever you do anything. You're Stand just simply, up if you want. You're just simply going to raise your leg. You can do this in your chair if you just simply raise up off the side that you're lifting. You will feel your core engage in helping you do that. Now, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, let go of that chair and hold on. Hold your foot up. You're going to alternate. You're going to do that with the other foot. Same exact thing. That will help with your balance. If you're seated in your chair, you can do this thing. It's called the airplane. Put your arms out just like you're doing the airplane. And you're going to lean from side to side. And you're going to hold it. And the, the, the hold is what's important because that's what's going to help you with getting that balance, gaining that balance. And the other simple one is to put your hands like you're gonna dive into a pool. You're gonna go forward as far as you can. And then you're gonna go to the right. And then you're gonna go to the left. And that's gonna also help you. Those things are gonna engage your core and help you with more balance. Those things not only help um, strengthen your core, but they help your brain um, um, practice where you are in space. So, so it's not only your muscles that have to do this, but your brain has to uh, not lose track of where you are, you are in space. Okay, so what are the barriers to exercise? Um, um, people always say, oh, I don't really have time to do that. I'm really busy. I'm doing all kinds of things. I work. I take care of this person, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any time. This is where Ruth Bader Ginsburg really inspired me because she's a Supreme Court justice and she has time. If she has time, we all have time, right? Uh, um, like that. Um, um, if, you have, if you have limitations, if you have joint problems, if you've had a stroke, if you, um, if you have other kinds of problems, start easy, go slow, keep going, you'll get better, uh, um, like that. Um, if you have a weak area, Work on that. If there's something that you'd like to be able to do, work on that. That's a great way to set a goal. So if you want to be able to get up off your sofa without um, um, feeling like you're going to fall back on it, work on those, those muscles. If you want to be able to reach overhead, work on those muscles, uh, things like that. Use a partner or a trainer if you want. Um, um, certainly people like Shannon are available out there. Um, lots of people find that it's easy to have an exercise partner and you, you don't give up on it if you've got somebody who's counting on you to, to work with you. Schedule it. I tell patients all the time, you schedule everything else, take out your calendar, block off 30 minutes. So from 9 to 9.30 I'm going to do my exercise. Oh, sorry, I can't come right then. I've got something else planned, right? That's what you say to people. Oh, you know, I can meet you at 10, but I can't meet you at 9 because I have something else planned, right? right? We're looking to do aerobic exercise most days, like five days a week. We're looking to do strength training twice a week, stretching twice a week, and balance every day. I like to do balance when I'm brushing my teeth. 
It's really simple to do, right? I'm right there next to the sink, so if I start to wobble, I'm right there like that. And you're sitting there and you're just brushing your, just brushing your teeth and, um, on one foot, right? Switch to the other foot and you can do that. Same thing at the sink, uh, um, like that. Um, um, for advanced training, I work on my balance when my dog is sniffing outside, right? And you can pick up a foot and uh, that kind of stuff like that. So um, where you can do this at home, as Shanna said, you can do it in your chair, you can do it when the TV is and the commercials, um, um, you can do it at the senior center, you can do it uh, almost anywhere, okay? So exercise, it's our best medicine. You guys out there in uh, cable land, it's your best medicine too. <laughs> Questions? Yes? Uh, first off, I would like to say I enjoyed this very much. Thank you. Shen, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I've known her since the day she was born. <laughs> um, but I want to know if what you told us about your exercising right now and things that you ended up with, do you have that on a sheet of paper that we can take home? You know, uh, let me give you this. So everybody have a pen? I don't, I, I don't have a, a PowerPoint. If you go to, where's my last page? Okay. Um, uh, the website is called Go G O for the letter the letter for life L I F E dot N I A which stands for National Institute of Aging dot N I H National Institutes of Health dot gov. I'll say it again. Go G O for the letter for life dot N I A dot N I H gov. Um, you can ask them to, you can either download or you can ask them to send you an exercise guide. It is marvelous. It'll talk about the kinds of things that I say, uh, that I said today. It'll also give you examples of exercise. So if you walk out of here and you forget everything that Shannon said, um, it's got other kinds of, of things that it'll show you to do. It's completely free or actually I should say it's prepaid because you paid for it on um, April 15th, uh, um, um, like that. So, uh, oh good, you gonna do it? Good, okay, she'll put, it up on, she'll put it up on the screen. Other questions? Thank you. Yes. I just wanted to tell you that the same exercises that you were doing, uh, they do it at Southernsville Senior Center on Tuesdays and Thursdays. A guy that has a karate, he teaches karate and all in Chester Down. Mm -hmm. Mark, he comes to Southernsville and he does the same exercise. Super, super, that's great to know. Anybody else? Ready for lunch? Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.